So, um, apparently someone called and they thought maybe we were shoplifting or something. Okay. Do you know who placed that call? I do not. Okay, well, it was a store. Yes. So do you know, it was, I mean, it would have been one of your employees. What, what would you like me, what do you need help with? I would like to understand why they were called. Right, that's like simple. Why were the police called with the three black people thinking that we were shoplifting? I paid six hundred dollars for my thing, so obviously I, w I didn't shoplift. Mm -hmm. I won't understand why you thought I was shoplifting. You didn't place the call, but one of your employees did. I'd like to know why. Another day, another example of shopping while black. This time at a Bed Bath and Beyond store in Toledo, Ohio. The man recording is Lamar Richards, who was super stoked to be purchasing his first home with his male partner, only to find out they allegedly had too many high ticket items in their cart when getting products for their new home. And the lady he's talking to there, presumably the manager of the store, does not come across as having any type of empathy. I'm not being hostile or anything. Because he was, he asked the woman that we pay. I don't care. I mean, if there's people, big purchase items, that type of thing, there's usually a question. We just want to make sure. Okay, usually a question. I can understand that, but police being called, I can understand that. Right? You, you, that's usually a question, so maybe the store will ask a question. Or maybe you all follow me, maybe you follow me around. Sure. Rachel, but, can you come to the front? But that's not what happened. The matter on its own so far seems over the top on the store's part, especially considering that Bed Bath & Beyond filed for bankruptcy in April and is closing hundreds of stores. And it's also not lost on me how Richards operates with a sense of calmness so he doesn't come across as the angry black man. And the situation only gets worse. The police were called, were pot, potential shot, which means we, that We call the someone, police all the time, they have our backs. We okay, well that's fine, but you call, you didn't call the police because we did shoplift, you called police because you thought we shoplift. I spent $600, I paid my money. I didn't shoplift. Did anybody you say called anything? Them? Did anything say did anybody yeah, say Yeah, the anything? officer asked her, did we pay? Ooh, see that whole, we call the police all the time, they have our back sentence, really hit a nerve for me. And I'm sure it hit a nerve for a lot of other black people. Y'all know there is a long history of white people weaponizing the police against black people for some of the most absurd matters. Plus, the lady does not look like she's taking his grievances seriously at all. All right. Let's continue, shall we? There are a few things more infuriating than a white individual telling a black person to take a timeout when they have been an alleged victim of racial profiling. So I'm glad the other gentleman said, yeah, we're not about to do that. Like, we're gonna keep this energy. And Richards made the claim that police didn't even approach them until after they spent the $600. Keyword after 600. A little bit later, the store manager brings over the employee, Rachel, who made the call to police to essentially explain why she did just that. It's my right. It's your right to do what? Oh yeah, you, yeah, you hear right. So your right to do what? It's my right to call. Because you thought the three black people were shoplifting, why? They didn't say that. You called the police, you said we have a potential shoplifter. So you did say that. See how she started off very boldly saying, yeah, it's my right to call. But when asked to share what prompted the call and Richards essentially calls her out, the energy shift is quite noticeable. Plus, the police confirm what Richard said when asked what the employees said to describe the potential shoplifters. A lot of people, understandably, were furious with the encounter the black gay couple had to endure here, including actor Wendell Pierce saying, quote, this is the incessant racism black folks continue to endure, the racial profiling that determines you are, quote, criminal for being black or less than. I recently was refused an apartment in Harlem because my credit wasn't satisfactory. I offered to pay a year's rent in advance. No. So surely there would be a resolution to this, right? We're not, not going to be able to resolve this. I don't know what you want us to say, but I don't care if the white, black, or green, if somebody is walking around with big high ticket items. There's a lot of people walking around with high ticket items. Yeah, I. I mean, Dyson's. So we're right. the final high ticket item. That's why they walked it up to the counter so that. So what? Here's another thing, sir. Just so we can have the record straight. The high ticket items. The high, most people think I had my budget was the vacuum that y'all took from me and put you, behind the counter. Oh, I know. So but the high ticket know. items. If the police hadn't acted sensibly in this manner, these two gentlemen could have been killed over a vacuum at a store in a company which are closing because of bankruptcy all because the employees allegedly did not feel like this black gay couple could afford such high ticket items you know what's ironic about this situation according to a census bureau report from 2015 to 2019 the median household income of same gender households is 107,200 dollars compared to just 97k for opposite gender married couples nonetheless to make matters worse, it feels like the store continues to just disregard the couple's grievances here. The crazy thing about this in the end is, according to Richard's tweet, they weren't even given a way to contact corporate or a district manager and police told them 
you all did nothing wrong. Sadly, it doesn't look like there's going to be any accountability as of now. But what it shows to me is that it doesn't matter how you identify as a black man, whether you're heterosexual, gay, bisexual, or trans. Police hear two black men and they will show up to the store before you can even get to the register. For TYT Sports, I'm Chris Williamson. We'll see you next time.